Good evening, everybody, and thank you once again for joining me here for another segment of So Tell Me Why. So I want to get serious. As I told you before, we're going to speak about an array of topics, and my topic tonight is HIV. Yes, I just said HIV. We're not talking about it as much as we used to, and that bothers me. So I wanted to definitely touch base on it and open it up for discussion, pretty much. Now, HIV, some of you know, and a lot of you think you know, but HIV is the human immunodeficiency virus. About 1.2 million people are affected with HIV in the U.S. total as of right now. Yet 240,000 people don't know that they're infected. And this is all from the cdc.gov website, so please go ahead and do your research and check all of your resources. And every year, approximately 50,000 people are infected with HIV. Okay, HIV is an STD. Let's get that straight. Only 28% of those people that are infected with HIV are getting the treatment. There are 7 billion people in the world and 315,167,069 people are in the U.S. today. Only 240,000 people know that they're infected. And the number keeps growing. Okay, now once again, as I told you, HIV is an STD. Do not allow the term virus to fool you. You get it through infected bodily fluids such as blood, vaginal secretions, and semen. And you can also get it from infected skin or mucoid membranes. Now, HIV cannot be spread through saliva. We all know that. However, saliva does hold the HIV antibodies if you are infected with HIV. Okay, and you cannot get HIV from kissing unless you have an open sore in your mouth and you're kissing somebody that has HIV. That's the only way through kissing that it can be contracted. Okay, so... Having another type of STD, such as genital warts, general, genital herpes, sorry, uh, gonorrhea, chlamydia, or syphilis can also increase your chance. And testing for HIV has, has definitely changed. Usually when you test, you have a blood sample, and that gets sent to where you go to the doctor's office, and you do a blood sample, you send it away. And you get your results within a few days, six to eight weeks, to have that antibody detected. And in rare cases, it can take up to six months for any of the HIV antibodies to be detected. So depending on your body and depending on how it reacts to it, determines when it is in fact detected can go to your nearest health clinic or to your doctor's office and they'll perform a rapid test. I believe it takes 20 minutes to get that done. Okay, and that brings me to the product that I am going to be discussing. I am not getting paid for this. It's just something that I saw actually. I was watching TV, regular TV on Saturday, and I saw the commercial being aired. It was very interesting actually, and it piqued my interest to see just how far we have come in this type of development. So I wanted to definitely discuss this with you. It's called AuraQuick, and it's from AuraShore Technologies. This is similar to the rapid, actually, they're saying that it is the rapid HIV test, which, let's get it out the box. Let's get this open. So it comes in this. And it's very medical. So you open it up, and this is what it looks like. Can everybody see it? And then it comes with some important instructions to read, your testing directions. And please read through all of the testing directions. But this takes 20 minutes to do. It takes 20 minutes for you to get your results. You have this drawer at the bottom, 
opens to this. You have a test tube. The test tube contains liquid, so when you open it, do it very carefully so you don't spill the, li spill the liquid or else your test will be considered void. And then you have the test stick. Now this test is done orally, so this test stick right here, this piece goes in your mouth. So you have your test stick and you have your test tube. And then also inside, you have a results booklet. Tells you how to read your results. And then you have the HIV testing and me booklet. This is the book that you need to read first. The results book comes later. But definitely read this book first. It has a lot of information in it. If you have any questions, they have a 24-hour hotline that you can call. And it speaks about everything having to do with this virus that is killing off people constantly due to non-detection. And then it comes with this bag, which you will dispose of your test. Okay. And you have a pencil, which they want you to use to mark off the time that you start because you need to prepare it first, and then time it from the time that it's prepared, 20 minutes, exactly. If it goes over 20 minutes, there's a possibility that your test will be wrong. Yes, I'm going to be doing this right here, live and in color. On this, you have an expiration date. The expiration date is on this one for 2015 okay and you do not want to spill this liquid or else you cannot use the test okay test tube is open place it in the test tube holder got it got it done and then you have the test stick test stick is here open easy to open okay Easy to open. What else? That's it. You have this. You have to swab around the gums, the top and the bottom. I'm gonna do that. And on the bottom. Got enough saliva on there. Putting it in the tube is 750. So 20 minutes. Now, just so you know, I'm not here to approve of this test and I'm not here to disprove this test. When I saw the commercial, I was genuinely interested. I haven't heard much about any breakthroughs. I haven't heard much of anything in the news. Now this is very, very new. This Oroquip that they're selling, they started selling it in October. So when I went to Dwayne Reed, the lady there, she had no idea what I was talking about. I asked her for the Oroquip. And she looked at me like, oh, and I said, yes, you know, the rapid HIV test. And she was like, oh, it came out like yesterday. It's very new. You can find it at your Dwayne Reed, CVS or Rite Aid. It's a little pricey. It goes for $39.99 in some areas. I'm in New York, so I paid $42.99. <laughs> that was not including tax. So it is pricey when you compare that to just going to your free clinic and getting it done it may deter a lot of people from getting this test as opposed to just going to their free clinic or going to their doctor and getting it done. Now, the thing with this test is that it's done in the privacy of your own home. So people will pay for privacy. If they feel as though that it's necessary, they will pay for their privacy as opposed to feeling as though somebody's judging you. Even though it's completely safe, and completely anonymous to go to a free clinic and take your test. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. 20 minutes. Well, no, less than 20 minutes now, 18 minutes. All right? Be right back. All right, I'm back, and it has been 20 minutes. And my result 
one line, let's see if you can see that, one line across shows negative. Now if, let me just show this to you one more time. If both lines, if both areas, the C and the T, had a line, that would mean positive. Now, when you do this, if you do decide to do this, or even if you're going to your clinic or to your doctor, however you're getting this test done, rapid, however you're getting this test done, if you are negative, congrats, yay. However, this should just raise your awareness even more. If you are having sex, continue to use your condoms and continue to get yourself tested for other STDs as well. Please continue to still use your condoms and use your contraceptives, whatever it is that you're using to prevent this from entering your system and shutting your entire immune system down. You don't want it. However, if you did get a positive, if it's from this test, if it's from your doctor's office or from a clinic or your rapid HIV test, however you did it, you need to seek counseling. The best way to get your testing done and to be more accurate is to get the blood sample done. Now, it's only 99.9% .9 accurate for those who do not have HIV, and it is 91.7% accurate if you do. So definitely go and get your blood sample done if it's showing up as a positive. Even if it is a negative, do your annual. Get it done every six months if you have to. Now, the test itself was very, very easy. As I said, open up the test tube, swab your mouth with this, put it in 20 minutes, and you get your result. One line is negative, two lines is positive. However, please continue to get your regulars, as I said. Now, as I noted before, I am not endorsing this product at all. It is just something that I noticed, and I definitely wanted to make my audience, the public, aware of other outlets of getting yourself tested and being aware. And if you are positive, seeking treatment. The earlier, the better. The earlier, the better. That is pretty much it. Now, I know this is going to open up a lot of doors, and that's exactly what I want. I want to hear your comments on this. I want to hear from everybody. As we all know, especially to my younger viewers and to my older viewers, they abstain if you have to. There are too many things out there, too many STDs to shorten your life, and it's not worth it at all. It's not. Know your status and get treatment if you have to. Continue to use your contraceptives and be safe out there. Be safe out there. You and your partner get tested together.